Hey y'all, welcome back to Bass Box and Outdoors. Uh, today uh, we got in a few little packages, so I thought I'd uh, share them with y'all and kind of explain what we got in here. Uh, some of these y'all have already seen, but there's some on here that you may or may not have seen, but you ain't seen them on my channel. So, anyway, we're gonna talk about them today. Uh, first off. I want to say uh, thanks for the liking and subscribing and commenting. Uh, we did surpass the 300 mark, so we will be doing a giveaway. I just, like I said, I haven't put anything together yet. Uh, I'm focused on the giveaway we got going on Sunday. Don't forget about that. Uh, be sure to get in on that. Uh, we'll be doing that every other Sunday, so make sure you get in on it. Uh, but anyways, make sure you like, subscribe, and all that good stuff, and uh, do that. So, anyways, I want to open up one of these first and make sure it's the right ones. Oh, I ain't gonna see that one yet. All right, let me open up this one because the next one, that one, I want to talk about a little bit more. Anyways, uh, on this right here, let me get these out of here. All right, first step, I went through and I bought some uh, X Zone adrenaline bugs, and uh, these are four inches long. The color is purple shadow. It's real neat. It's like black on one side and then like a purple bluish glitter on the other side. So, you can see it real close right there. Uh, yeah, I picked these up the other day. I seen them on there, and uh, I didn't have any, so I figured what the heck. I'd pick some up uh, from Shop Carl's and uh, give them a shot. Uh, it says they're floating claws, so we'll see. Uh Anyways, y'all know, X-Zone makes some uh, really good lures, so. Next up, I went back and bought some uh, more of these uh, Headhunters, since I liked them really. Uh, they worked really good, so I went back and bought the bigger version. And this one is a, a four and a third inch long and weighs an ounce. And this is carbon crappie. And I've got one of the other ones down here. I just kind of want to show y'all the size difference. The other one is a uh, three and a quarter inch, and it's half an inch. I mean, half an, half an ounce, not half an inch. So anyways, that way you can kind of get a comparison of how the difference in the sizes. There's not, I mean, there's quite a bit of a difference, but not too much. Uh, anyways, I went back and bought uh, two of the bigger ones of the colors that I didn't have yet because, you know, there wasn't no point in buying the same color over but I really think these are going to work really good during the springtime and early early summer. But anyways, this is that carbon crappie. And, you know, it's just got that hook on there. And it's magnetic. And uh, I fished with these the other day. And I was trying to make a fishing video. And it didn't work out very well. I didn't catch nothing. But anyways, 
these right here are really weedless. I mean, they work really good. They swim through the water. That big old tail right there, y'all can see how big that flapper is. And uh, that thing just swims through the water so good. I ran it through grass. I ran it over the top of uh, like tree limbs and stuff. I was trying to get it hung and I couldn't. Uh, another thing that people were wondering about was this hook. You know, they were afraid that if they cast it, the hook would swing out in mid mid air or whatever that don't happen now every time i reeled it in that hook was completely where it was supposed to be uh but anyways that's about how wide it is that's where the weight part is uh and then it gets real skinny uh but anyways that right there is a nice color i mean that thing is a good looking color and that's a carbon crappie uh, so I'm looking forward to really throwing this one around. I like that small one, but I thought it was a little bit too small. So that's why I went on up and got a couple of these big ones. The small ones will work. Don't get me wrong, but I just kind of wanted something with a little bit more of a beefier profile. So I went back and got some more of those. Uh, that one right there was the sour grapes and like i said y'all already seen that one so i'm not going to show it to you again so anyways that's that uh carbon crappie i know one thing they're having a hard time keeping these things in stock uh the next one i got was uh <clears throat> it's in the same size this one right here is called a uh, green machine. And I got this one because I noticed the other day whenever I was down there fishing, the water was kind of dirty looking. I mean, it wasn't dirty, dirty, but it was stained. And I figured with that big old chartreuse tail, they got another one that's got a chartreuse tail on it. And uh, so I got this one and then I've already got the other one with the chartreuse tail and I didn't realize I'd had it till I got home and uh, it was hanging up on the wall. I was like, man, I should have grabbed that one and took it with that chartreuse tail. But anyways, that's uh, the uh, 10,000 fish head hunter. Uh, Y'all can see it's got a lot of glitter in it, that green and yellow chartreuse tint. Uh, I think this one right here is going to work really well, especially on stained water conditions. Uh, normally, the water is real clear, but I don't know what's going on. I guess during the winter time, it kind of gets dirty. But anyways, that's the uh, 10,000 fish head hunter. I was excited to get that. Like I said, I thought the little profiles might have been just a little bit small. Now we're going to move on to the reason that I wanted, what I wanted to show y'all. got some new items today these are the biospawn rattle bots and this color right here is a golden shed this is a uh, it's a lipless crankbait and uh, it's made by biospawn and like I said it's called the rattle bot I have not seen these. I've just now, I just now gotten them. I've seen them on YouTube on a different, a couple of different channels. But anyways, I wanted to show you all these. These things are really weird looking. Uh, it's got a totally different profile than a lot of them. It's real wide on the underneath. 
course, you can see their little logo. And uh, they use that little oval split ring. And uh, anyways, this, uh, these are two and a half inches long and they weigh half an ounce. And this is the bait fish. And I kind of wanted to compare it to one of these so you can kind of get the idea. This is the six cents. This is the six cents snatch 70. And you can see the difference in the profile. If I don't get a hook in my finger one first. The profiles are totally different. I mean, this is your typical, you know, rattle trap, lipless crankbait. And uh, so anyways, I just kind of wanted to show y'all that. That was, these things are Total, totally different and it's something new they didn't copy nobody which is really good I mean that's that's hard to find these days where they don't copy somebody else's profile I mean this is new and uh, kind of looks like a little uh, microbot or something like that or a transformer <laughs> and uh, you can see the little groove they go all up all the way up the side of the body and anyways these you can hear it them rattles are real real light and uh it's uh the profile is like i said it's made that whenever it falls it falls head first and supposedly it's supposed to stand straight up whenever it hits bottom so, you know, you can imagine if, if you're bed fishing or something and you're dragging this thing across the bottom and it's bouncing around in that bed, bass are going to snoop that thing up. And I will tell you this, that thing's got some very sharp hooks on it. And you can see the little eyeballs. All right. So, anyways, this right here, like I said, it's called the Rattlebot. This is the bait fish profile. There's two different profiles. And it says, uh, the rattle, the rattle bot bait fish is a lipless crankbait genetically engineered to imitate the universal bass snack. Bait fish, pro tip when fishing, move up to the shallows in the spring. When fish move up into the shallows in the spring and fall, fish this rattle bot with a steady retrieve just off the bottom. When fish are around aquatic vegetation, rip it through so basically you fish it just like you would any other rattle trap all right so now i've got another one and i'm going to show you all this this is a uh, two and a half inches half an ounce this is the crawl profile and this color is called magma i like the little package that comes in too it's kind of cool And a lot of people think that they just went through and flipped the profile around. But that's not the case. These are actually two different total, totally uh, different body styles. And I'll show y'all. God bless. All right. So you see how much pointier this end is and how much curved it is and that's not even if you turn them that way and stack them they're still different so anyways don't think that they're the same body styles because they're not they do look like it whenever you go on there to order but if you start looking at them close enough, you'll see that they're different. See, I think this one right here has even got the little waves in it. And uh, 
real thick this one's made to fall like that with the crawfish up so anyways that's a real neat color i like that it's a black red burnt color kind of it's not a a real slap your you know a real standout red and like i said man these things are they got some really sharp hooks on them. I don't know what they're using on them things, but real, real sharp. And then I got another one. This one was called Blue Belly. Which I thought was real cool. And the paint jobs on there are really crazy. They're like, these, like on the crawfish patterns they're matted and then on the bait fish they're real shiny but they did that on purpose because you know a, a crawfish don't shine in the water it don't like reflect or you know anything like that it's a real rough creature you know it, it don't it's a matted creature pretty much and uh so yeah it's real cool how they design these things and Put a lot of work into them and uh I've, saw, I've already seen quite a few fish already caught off of them so it's kind of crazy they work real good i can't wait to get out and fish them myself to be honest with you because of, i don't know if y'all can see in there but if y'all can see this right here is a much shinier coat compared to the crawfish so Anyways, that is your rattle bot. Oh, yeah. Let me see if I can show you all the difference in the rattles. They both got two different. See how that? That's much louder. Compared to the bait fish. So, yeah, I think the, if I'm not mistaken, I think the, uh, the craw did has a, uh, like one, one subtle, it's got one BB or something like that. I think that's what it is. And then uh, fish has like five or six BBs in it. And anyways, uh, these have already sold out. I've been on there twice. I got, I got lucky and got on there the first day and grabbed these. And then I got back on there today and they had one color left and I bought a couple of them to add to this and then they were out again so anyways that's that so uh if y'all get a chance try to stack up on them because i'm gonna tell you these things are gonna be some killers during the spring right now really if you're uh fishing rattle traps you'd probably want to try these uh if you like stuff like that like i said you might not like them but that's the new thing it's a new profile the science behind it is real cool uh so yeah anyways uh so that's your rattle bots from bio spawn lures uh i hope y'all enjoyed and i'll see y'all on the next one